Hey what's up guys, yes it's your main man JB, in this video we're taking another look at this Zinsa Bullseye 1, 2, 3. Now I was doing a painting job just last week, painting this utility slash cloakroom slash bathroom toilet area and uh, after I'd painted the walls the client asked me if I could paint these tiles and uh, that's going to be a no-no because you can't just put some vinyl mat on tiles but then I realized I had this bullseye one two three in the van and thought you know what I have got some primer in the van that will do that because it will stick to all surfaces without sanding now these tiles were pretty shiny and I guess just to prove that the product can be used on tiles there's even an image of it right there of it being painted on tiles so uh, yeah very shiny I said let's give it a go I was going to use a foam roller because I wanted a nice even finish so the plan was to start applying it with a brush and then I would go over it with a foam roller to smooth it off get a nice flat finish I wasn't going to use a fabric roller because it might make it a little bit too rough I used a foam roller and as I was applying this product, it did go on really well. It, 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 it just felt like putting a primer on wood, to be honest. A lot of the time, if you put a water-based product on a surface that's quite shiny, you can see it almost separates and it just does not adhere to the surface. But here, and just finishing the first coat, it went on really, really well. So as I say, I applied it on with a brush and then smoothed it over with that foam roller. I just didn't want any brush marks in it or anything like that so this really helped um, to get that nice smooth finish. Now this product has been dissed a bit uh, I guess a little bit on my last video I did on this well, which was actually my first video I did on this where I painted some varnished wood and well, it was quite a lot of varnished wood to be honest uh, sort of going up the stairs and and what have you and uh, it was sort of said that oh you should be keying all the surface before you apply this but apparently not you don't have to and I've still had excellent results from that and certainly I haven't had a, a complaint from the customer and that was a good couple of years ago so a uh, second time I've actually used it on something that you wouldn't necessarily expect you could use it on and as you can see here I'm having fantastic results so here is the second coat going on now I did do three coats on these tiles because I wanted to get a really really white finish and the tiles were grey they were, I guess you know they were quite dark when you consider we wanted to paint it light so um, yeah second coat going on I did three coats and uh, let's check out the results there we go that second coat actually looks really good now I wasn't sure what she wanted to do whether she wanted to just leave it white because I wasn't really happy about putting the emulsion on top um, so I just went ahead I did two coats and then I did a third coat now while JB is doing that let's just look at a couple of things on here as I've said already interior exterior use high hiding stained sealer sticks to all surfaces without sanding use with all paints recoat in one hour soap and water cleaner and this is a white tintable version you can get a darker version of this as well now what I'm doing here is just going over that edge because when you have tiles you always get a bit of a um, a dark or a shiny surface that just goes round the top edge of tiles so I just did that to make sure it, it made those areas uh, lighter and of course got the primer on it because I wasn't sure what was going to happen with the top coat uh, feeling really smooth after that third coat and it really didn't take long to dry as well you happy it looks like he's happy <laughs> um, so here we go what did I do after that then that's a good question I showed the client the finish, I said look I've put the primer on, we've got three coats and uh, what did she say? She said, can you put some of that emulsion on it? Um, I was like well not really because you don't really want emulsion 
around a sink area when, where somebody's put tiles as a splashback you don't really want to get emulsion paint wet because you know it won't last forever and you can't scrub it um, maybe with some you know kind of real hard emulsions but this is just a standard it's a good quality trade product um, but it's not necessarily good for scrubbing so I did say I can do it yes but you know you need to be careful and that's the finish product it came out really well I did finish it off with two coats so this is just how it looked with the first coat and then I did give it a second coat and it did actually look really good I was really happy with how it looked and we got it yellow all the way round and uh, of course it blended in with the wall but it's not ideal painting emulsion on a tiled area or particularly around the sink area so as far as this product goes yes you can use this on tiles if you read the application on the back it pretty much does state every kind of surface you could imagine um, you know that this can be used on you know exterior brick metal tiles plastic wood all sorts it's all there so in my opinion this is a great product because it's water-based as well it can wash out easily it dries really quick and it does so many different jobs so uh, I am loving this and this does stay in the van so uh, I know there are some haters out there you know you can't win them all and not everybody likes football but <laughs> there you go Zinsa bullseye one two three guys you can use this on pretty much anything as seen in this video so there you go thanks for watching tuning in and all that and uh, I'll see you next time